Welcome back to the channel everybody. Well today we're going to be focused all on breeding guppies and throughout my time here on YouTube I've bred a lot of guppies including these purple mosaics, some red mosaics, we've even built crazy enclosures for them. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race, every move is on the page. And we've gone as far as trying to create our own color stream. We call this the unicorn guppy. And today we're going to be building out a brand new setup for breeding guppies. It's not going to be quite this intricate, but it's going to be functional and it's going to be dual purpose. So what we need to do now is go ahead and get out and start getting some supplies. Gotta focus on yourself, on your faith For substrate, we're going to be using this all-purpose sand. You can get this stuff in a 50-pound bag for around $5 from any local hardware store. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Well, let's head out to freshwaterscrub.com and pick up a sponge filter. In fact, if you visit freshwaterscrub.com and use the code GUPPY, you will get 10% off all of your orders. The sponge filter and all plants in today's video actually came from freshwaterscrub.com. So we're going to stick this right to the bottom of the pool and backfill around it with the substrate. Duh, I see the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. With a really dirty substrate, I like to put the hose right on a paper towel, which helps the dirt from getting disturbed. And then if I have to, I'll use my drain hose to drain the water, fill it back up, and just constantly do this until the water runs clean, which is what I'm doing here. My whole life I just wanted some. And now for some aesthetics. We're going to go ahead and add some of this pea gravel at the bottom here just to contrast this golden brown sand. Then we'll come back and add some larger elements. Hey, I got something, something to say. I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain. I know it's tough and I know there's pain But hitting bottom is the only way to change so I'll keep Now we're going to dechlorinate with some of API's Aqua Essential And then we're going to go ahead and start getting plants in here I said this was going to be dual purpose And it's going to be for breeding guppies and growing plants So let's go ahead and get some more plants out of our 300 gallon to grow in here Since the substrate has zero nutrition, we're going to add some API leaf zone. Then we're going to head over to our plant grow out systems and get a pre-cycled sponge filter. Remember, the sponge filter and all of these plants are available at freshwaterscrub.com and if you use the code guppy, you'll get 10% off all of your orders. Now with this water dechlorinated, I'm adding a pre-cycled sponge to this sponge filter, which will allow the immediate addition of fish. We'll also use a chemical additive that will help boost this cycle. I'm going to be growing four different plants in this setup, hornwort and amazon frogbit, because they are easily grown in a low-tech setup with low light, and then I'll be growing some Christmas moss and java ferns. Well now it's time to get some fish in here and what we have is 300 feeder guppies. These guppies consist of all different species or color strains of guppies and we're going to put these in here just to grow them out. Now we got a surprise in this first little batch here and that is this big thing. That is not a guppy but that is in fact an American bullfrog tadpole that we're also going to raise.
I'm using things like hornwort and Christmas moss as well as this Amazon frog bit because it makes for great hiding places for guppy fry. Alright guys, well it's been a few days since we set up this guppy breeding pool pond and if you notice these guppies are going crazy in here. They absolutely love this setup. So like I told you early on in the video, this thing is dual purpose. Number one is breeding guppies. Number two, growing plants. And plants like this frog bit right here this amazon frog bit this stuff will grow perfect underneath this low light condition and so will this oh look at that little baby java fern that's in here anyway so will this hornwort this hornwort's going to grow fantastic in here as well it'll propagate nicely these java ferns may actually sprout some baby plants on the leaves if not they're just in here for cover really and then the same with all of this Christmas moss. This stuff will do fantastic. There's a little bit, you see over there in that frog bit, there's a little bit of duckweed in here. Hopefully that takes off and propagates in here as well, giving us plenty of plants growing in this setup. Now moving over here, we have all of our little ghost shrimp and well, they're hard to see, but you can see one right there on the side of the sponge filter. Another one right there down in the substrate. But everything in the shrimp grow out tub looks fantastic as well. So we have our shrimp breeding system. We have our guppy breeding system, both which are growing plants. Look at all the guppy gups over here. All right, these guys look like they may want to eat. So let's feed these guys real quick. All right, I'm just going to dump some of this flake food right here. And we're just going to wait and see if they come over to get it. And here they come. Tons and tons of little guppies. Now, looking over here, if you saw on the video, we got this guy as well. And he is an American bullfrog tadpole. He was not supposed to be in that bag of guppies, but he was. So, well, what else is there to do with him other than raise him up, turn him into a big old bullfrog, and then build him a nice big old bioactive terrarium setup. So stay tuned for that. But everything in these tubs are looking fantastic. So before we get out of here though, guys, I wanted to take a look at a couple of our other fish tanks, starting with this 300 gallon right here. This thing looks fantastic. Everything in here is looking good. All the plant growth is doing really, really well. If you notice right here, we have this massive, and I mean, he is massive. That is a albino red tail shark. He is actually from our 100 gallon. When we got him, he was about an inch and a half long, little tiny thing, but he has grown significantly. But everything in this tank looks good. In fact, there's one of our German blue rams right there. He's looking good. And then here's another one right there looking good. So everything in this 300 gallon is looking fantastic. All of our, all of our Colombian tetras, our Buenos Aires tetras, all of our angelfish, we have our blue rams, and then we have a couple of these spiny zebra eels that are probably up in the rocks down in here, which is fine. And then of course our little albino red tail shark there who's looking good. He's just sitting around eating. We could probably drop some food in here and he'd eat it off the rocks. We have our little lamp eye tetras, our red eye tetras. They're looking good. But overall this tank is looking fantastic. Moving over here to our LED bubble wall aquarium. We've got all of our mollies in here. They're all looking fantastic. The scape overall looks good. We have a couple of other species of fish in here outside of these mollies. And there's one right there. So we have three of these reticulated hillstream loaches in here. They are doing fantastic, all doing so well. A little black molly back here. I was looking for the little albino quarries. They're in here as well. They're just up under the rocks and such at the moment. But everything in this tank is looking good. Look at these Anubias that are up here growing. Looking over here, we have our jellyfish tank and there is our little baby tiny jellyfish that we focused our entire last jellyfish video on, which was talking about how this dude is growing legs. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go back and watch that. Now, for one final tank that we're gonna look at today, let's take a look at old Big Head Fred. Look at old Big Head Fred. Oh, jeez! Dude, 
dude, you can't bite me like that. Come over here where there's some light, but do, do you see that right there? Yeah, Fred just drew blood. It's because Fred is hungry. Look at this man, he's like crazy over here. Goodness. All right, guys. Well, with the hat, these guys have been fed. We also went in and fed all of the shrimp with some of that API Tropical Fish Flake as well. And over here, we're going to drop some of this API Tropical Mini Pellets in this side just because these guys do better with these pellets. And the Wave Maker is going to take those all throughout. And as we can see, these guys are going absolute insane over this. We have our little bala shark down here eating them. Everything's down here eating these guys. And then our little red tail shark over here, he's going to come over here and he's going to eat some as well. There's our big old massive angelfish eating some of these. But everything in here looks fantastic and they've all now been fed. And of course, we know he's been fed. Not only has he been fed, but he's been fed my finger all right fred we'll see you later buddy all right fred well thanks for taking half my knuckle off you are by far my favorite fish no doubt and we will see you soon all right guys well with that hopefully you went on to enjoy this video today and hopefully you're enjoying the content coming out here on the christopher scott channel if you have not visited freshwaterscrub.com make sure you do that now and use the code guppy for 10 percent off all your orders that can be for sponge filters, plants, merchandise, whatever it may be. Just visit freshwaterscrub.com. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links to both are down below. And what else? Well, hey, listen, we're grateful. We're truly grateful for everything you guys do to support the channel. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. I am truly, truly thankful for you guys. So, with that, thank you very much. And hey, we will see you next time. Cause I've been